Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I uh, thank my honorable colleague, my honorable friend from San Diego Gulf Islands uh, for her comments today and congratulate her. Um, I uh, would like to ask her a question, uh, but first I want to bring to bring to her mind if she may, she may have been here on a Wednesday a couple of months ago when we were finishing second reading uh, of this bill and the Liberal leader uh, was talking about the bill and I can recall the Minister of Canadian Heritage calling from across the way and, say, and because the leader was saying that the, the government wasn't open to any amendments and the, the, the Minister of Heritage said, I'll bet you $10,000 we're going to have amendments and certainly suggesting that there were going to be major amendments. Well, in fact, the, the, the amendments were tiny and, and almost meaningless with very, very little impact in changing the overall direction on issues like education and digital locks. And I wonder what her thoughts are on that. The Honourable Member for Saanich Gulf Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank my Honourable Friend from Halifax for his question, and I enjoy the, the bit of repartee across the aisles here with the Minister of Heritage. I'd just like to suggest to the Minister of Heritage, if he wants to win his bet, and there's apparently $10,000 riding on it, I recall the conversation now as, as I was reminded I was here in, that, in the House that day, uh, and I just think that uh, the Minister of Heritage would like to win his bet, and for that purpose, I urge that uh, the uh, Conservative Party members support my amendments because otherwise the member from Halifax is quite right. The changes to date are extremely small, highly technical, and do not represent a willingness to change the overall thrust of this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.